Now I'm just going to uh, briefly talk about what is robotics. 20 years ago, we got what is called a computer navigation, which is like a GPS. Uh, it's, a, it's a special eye that looks at the knee and we do what is called as registration by using you know, a tip and that gives you a very nice computer navigation system for getting good accuracy in the knee. But now it has evolved into something further called robotics. And what is robotics? Robotics is the ability to do a knee replacement by this robotic machine, which is the one that we use is the Kuvis, which is a, which is a fully automatic machine. But it doesn't mean that the machine does everything that it, it wants to do. No, this, this, uh, this uh, automatic robotic machine as compared to the, all the traditional uh, robotic machines at present in India, are there, they are, they, you still have to manually do uh, and you, you check all the things at the time of the operation. In this Kuvis automatic, you first have to do a CT scan and with the pen drive, it is fed into the, uh, this computer navigation unit and it can assess the knee, the various abnormalities, deformities, whether it's bent this way or bent the other way. It will make a good assessment. And then at the time of the operation, then we do what our other, com other computer navigations are doing, which is we'll do a, what is called as a registration. It has the eyes which look at the knee and it is sensing everything that is done. So by pointing quickly on the three bones, mainly the thigh bone and the leg bone, it can, it can tell you the exact shape and what size is needed for the uh, knee replacement. Indian patients have more bent knees than, than in other countries. For example, this is called <coughs> uh, this is called a knock knee. Okay, the other one, other way, it's called bow leg. So, though we can do it very accurately due to experience, but this gives an edge in terms of the accuracy, especially since uh, our Indian patients, both more female and male have the bent knee cause called, called, called bow legs and sometimes it is quite severe and it can accurately predict and correct these deformities very very accurately up to you know a millimeter so it the, 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 there is no question of any human error occurring at all not that we made errors because of experience but you know we are an orthopedic hospital and we have like 20 orthopedic specialists and they are all doing this and it, it avoids any errors, any miscalculations, any complications that may have happened due to the what is called as the mild alignment of the knee due to this deformity this way or this way or too much of bending or what is called hyperextension etc. So the, the robotic is, is an assistant to help the surgeon, the surgeon is in total control. It's not that the machine is given total control. The surgeon is in total control, but all the data is very accurately put first with the CT scan, which is unique to the Scovis, Scovis uh, automatic robotic compared to the other traditional ones, and as well as registering during the operation, which all the others have also. So the accuracy is extremely good, and you know basically the machine will do. Uh, you may have heard robotics for the kidney and the gynec procedures which they does it without, without even looking at it. Here you are actually seeing it, so that the, the, it can be stopped at any moment. And the, the, it's, it's extremely good result and the accuracy is extremely good and very precise. That is the advantage, you know, so the results are good and the recovery of the patient is faster, there is less pain, they go back to work or their activities of daily living. As a housewife, they can, you know, go back to the normal activity quite fast without any risk of uh, complications happen. And the accuracy is very good. If it is bent so much, it becomes perfectly straight as what a normal knee should be. Though, of course, we can do it manually also, but this gives you that little more, little more accuracy and precision which helps a lot. That is what robotics is. And uh, we are doing this, it's, it's with the second hospital in Bangalore and there are some hospitals in Mumbai and Delhi that are using this automatic machine. But it's the latest thing worldwide. 
to use the pure robotic not the handheld robotic but it's a pure automatic robotic but like i said the surgeon has to put all the inputs and all the controls and you get a very good result that is the robot